Uh, I somewhat unofficially started my music career in College Station, Texas, on Church Street across from the Presbyterian Church. And my good friend Lyle Lovett and I documented in a song called The Front Porch Song, or he calls it This Old Porch. It was all about sitting out on a porch and the good weather, the not so good weather, the bad weather, and uh, playing guitars and mandolins and fiddles and singing old country music and bluegrass music and little tunes that we made up and pretty much if we could have gotten a degree in what we were doing we'd all be PhDs today. This old porch is just a big old red and white Hereford bull Standing under a mesquite tree And I would do it to Texas He just keeps on playing hide and seek That hot August sun He's sweating and a panting But his work is never done No, no He's got them cows that red top cane, this old porch is just a steaming, greasy plate of enchiladas with lots of cheese and onions, a guacamole salad, you can get them at the LaSalle Hotel in old downtown, with iced tea and a waitress who will smile every time, yeah she will, I left a quarter tip. My ten dollar bill, this old porch is a palace walk in on a main street in Texas. Ain't never seen or heard the day. A GNR and XS with that 62 poster. That's almost faded down and a screen without a picture. Since John came to town. Oh no. Oh oh. Here we go. I wrote this song, my friend Lyle Lovett, on the front porch of my house on Church Street across from the Presbyterian Church, which means that I was predestined to be here today. <laughs> and behind the Dixie Chicken, which was a beer joint where students used to go to relax after a hard day of taking classes. I went there to relax after a hard day of skipping classes. And Lyle and I and my other buddies there school used to sit on the front porch of our house and play music we played bluegrass music let me rephrase that we ruined bluegrass music for a lot of people and we played country music we played old traditional country music Hank Williams George Jones Tammy Wynette we had a couple little nice dresses for that we looked pretty good when we were singing <laughs> Stand by your man. Somebody always had to be the man, though. <laughs> the rest of this song is about my landlord, Mr. Jack Boyette. Used to pull up in the heat of the day and roll down the window just enough to be heard, not enough to let in the air conditioning escape. And he would holler out, Robert Keene, Robert Keene, can you come help me for a minute? And I'd jump in his truck and go out to his ranch where we would fix his fences and feed his crowbait horses, count his Hereford cross cattle. Now I never had the courage to ask him what he crossed those cows with, but I went to an agricultural college and I knew for sure that he didn't cross them with other cows. <laughs> and afterwards, we'd go in his house and his wife would fix us a pimento cheese sandwich. This song is just ripe with food references. <laughs> And we'd sit down there at that little formica table, say grace, and he'd split that sandwich three ways. And afterwards, he'd look up at me and he'd say, I got something for you, Robert Keene, Robert Keene. He'd reach in the top pocket of his khaki shirt and pull out a check, write in the pay the order section, he'd write, Robert Keene, Robert Keene. He really didn't do that, I just like to say my name over and over. <laughs> In the amount section, he'd write $2. I don't know if you've ever got a check for $2 or not, but it sets you back, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and he'd say, is that enough Robert Keene, Robert Keene? 
And I didn't want to tell him that it was embarrassing or that it was so humiliating to stand across from that beautiful little teller girl there at the College Station State Bank and slide that check for $2 over to her and ask her, can you cash this, miss? <laughs> and her looked back up at me with that look that I've seen in so many women's eyes ever since. <laughs> that look that says, you are the biggest loser I have seen in quite some time. But I couldn't tell him that. No, sir, I had to tell him Thank you, Mr. Boyette, I got bills to pay. And this is gonna come in mighty handy. <laughs> and that's about it. We'll jump back in my time machine and here we go. This old porch is just a weathered, gray-haired 70 years of Texas. He's doing all he can not to give in to the city and he always takes the rent late so long as I run his cattle. He picks me up at dinner time. I listen to him rattle. He says the brass still runs muddy like she's run all along. There ain't never been no cane to grind. The cotton's all but gone. You know their Chevrolet pickup truck? She's something back in 60. Now there won't nobody listen to him. Cause they all think he's crazy. So porch just a long time waiting and forgetting. Remembering the coming back. Not crying about the leaving and remembering the falling down and the laughter of the curse of luck from all those passers-by who said we'd never get back up. This old porch just a big old red and white Herford bull standing under a mesquite tree hiding all the dull say just keeps on playing hide and seek with that Hot August sun, he's sweating and a pantin'. His work is never done. Oh no. I know a whole lot of old bulls in my life and their work is never done. Thank you. Okay. Okay.